Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be making Japanese style bento boxes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh, we're at the Asian market. Let's get our supplies. Stamp your tofu. There's faces on everything. Carrot lion. All right, these are the bento lunch boxes they got. This one allows you to store your chopsticks inside. Double layer. Hello kitty. Maybe I'll get one of these so you can see what's inside. We need some of these. You stick these in your food to make it look cute. They have these things. Colored grass so you can separate each section. Four dollars. I think this is mislabeled. Jalapeno and this is a cucumber. They look the same to me. I think I got enough stuff. We made it back home. Let's get started on our breakfast bento box. I'm starving. A lot that goes into bento boxes is variety and presentation. We have some arabiki sausage right over here. Make them look a little bit like an octopus, like so. Let's heat up some olive oil. Spinach to add some greens. One of the things for bento boxes is that you have to make sure that you separate all the different foods. So a lot of the times they use either cupcake molds or I bought this one over here. <laughs> this is for like little kids. We're just gonna fry these sausages. Next, let's do the mushrooms and the tomatoes. Now let's add the spinach. Salt the egg, pork. Tomatoes only need to go on for like a tiny bit. We're just gonna season everything. I love fried tomatoes. They bring out the acidity and like the taste makes it like a lot more sour. Add some rice. I'm gonna roll up this egg. Let's add these over here. And add these guys. Let's add the spinach to one of the cups. I just added some black sesame seeds for the eyes. And there we go! Breakfast bento box! So a lot of times in Japan, you gotta make the bento box look super, super cute just because you're gonna be comparing it to all of your other friends in the schoolyard. Egg. Mmm. Tomato. Mmm. Super sour. Spinach. It tastes so good. Just eating it out of a little bento box reminds me of like my childhood. <laughs> no bento for me, please, sir. Well, that hit the spot. What kind of bentos do we have for lunch and dinner? You'll have to stay tuned. Start the vlog. Guess what? I just received the calendar in the mail. Correction, the proof for the calendar in the mail. But the proof was good. And so we are going ahead with printing of the calendar. Woo! I thought that I would reveal to you the cover of the calendar. Are you ready? Corgi on fleek 2018. <gasps> Ta-da! Check it out, we got Gatsby here pulling the balloons. So this is the new cover for our 2018 calendar and you'll be seeing a lot more of it as I reveal more information about the calendar as well as other stuff. One of the other things I wanted to note is that these dad hats over here will be restocked in very, very limited quantities. However, I still have a few of the khaki ones, the black ones, and a few of the pink ones left. As for all the other colors, they will be launched at the same time as the calendar. Do you smell something? Something yummy? You are my sunshine, my corgi sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are smoky. What is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Gatsby?
now it's time for lunch! Our lunch bento box is gonna be a tonkatsu or pork cutlet sandwich. Let's get started. Set the temperature to around there. Add some coconut oil. Okay. Good thing I have this huge thing from Costco. I'm just gonna pour it into a pot instead. All right, that's a lot better. Let's take our pork cutlet and season it on both sides with some salt, some pepper. We're gonna use a simple breading technique. So we have an egg. Sprinkle some flour. We use some panko breadcrumbs. Yeah. So you want to cook it for about six to seven minutes. Beautiful. Shrimp. A little shortcut instead of deveining the whole thing is just take a scissors and cut through the back. Next, let's peel the shrimp. Stick the shrimp in the flour. Egg wash. Breadcrumbs. Then into the oil. Next, we're gonna grate some cabbage. If you don't have a grater, you can always chop it. I'm also gonna slice up some Japanese cucumber. A lot of times you have tonkatsu with an orange. Next, we're gonna take our bread. We're gonna butter each piece of bread. Add some of our cabbage, tonkatsu. Finally, we'll add our tonkatsu sauce. Kind of like a barbecue sauce. And then let's slice off the corners. Beautiful black sesame on top, and some salt. Usushio means like lightly salted. So when I was in elementary school, my mom would make food also and we would all compare with all the other kids. I had to make sure that I had the best looking one. Okay. We're gonna have a little picnic indoors. Aww. Lunch time. Mmm. Cucumbers. Are you enjoying your fish fin chew? Mmm. This is good. And a little bit of sweet at the end. If I got this for lunch, I'd be like so happy. Every day when it was lunchtime, we like reveal our lunch and be like, oh, what did we get? And today is leg day, so we got our short shorts on, orange. See you guys at the gym. Wait, wait, hold up, wait. Stevie to the bull like, where's Emma J? Where's Emma J? Don't come around with that weird NNJ. Guess who just got here? Sean! Hey. We're gonna play some Overcooked on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, here it goes. Go and grab the rice. I'll grab whatever meat we need, which is... Right no, here. get away! Oh my! Okay, we're gonna restart. <laughs> no! Sean! <laughs> you pushed me off! Yeah! <laughs> you keep pushing me off! Okay, okay you go. Okay, okay. Get, get out of my way. <laughs> okay, I got the meat. I gotta pass this air. Oh, I died! Restart. Oh my gosh, I keep. We both died. Shut <laughs> wait. Don't push okay, me. Okay, go to the right. Don't push take, me. Okay, take that plate. You take it. I'm gonna make more rice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Go! We won! We beat it, Sean! Did we? We got one 72, star! Yeah. Yay! That's called a win for me. Oh, that was tough. Now we're gonna be trying out Sean's Oreos. The mystery Oreos. You can, ooh. Ooh, you can check it out on his channel. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. Gatsby, would you like to go for a walk? Let's go. It's nice to be able to walk outside again after all that smoke the past few days. This spider thing scared Gatsby so bad. Okay, finally time for dinner. We're just gonna do it super simple with thinly sliced beef, and we're gonna do some pot stickers as well. It's been a while since I made this thinly sliced beef. I have this teriyaki Korean barbecue sauce. We're gonna let it marinate for about like 10 minutes. Now let's just get a pan going with some butter. In the meantime, let's use our giant carrot that we bought. 
save that for the corgi foundation. <laughs> the corgi herd. The corgi's like, I'm ready for my donation. Here you go, sir. Not the most beautiful carving. We'll work on the onion. This beef should cook relatively fast because it's so thinly sliced. Set this aside. Now let's work on the pot stickers. There we go. Let's add some rice. And our carrots. We're gonna add some pickled ginger, shoga. Oh, and I have our rice seasoning, our furikake. Ta-da! So if I were a kid and I saw this, I'd be like, oh! Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Wow, that's really good. That yeah, sauce is so good. I burnt the bottom a little bit, but it's still good. In the comments below, write down if I was to make you a bento, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, which one would you choose and why? Your happy peach toy is all damaged, Gatsby. But that's the one that he wants. Yeah. What do you think, Gatsby? <laughs> Those bentos were so delicious. I understand the hype and I understand now how much effort it was for my mom to make those bentos every day for me for school. And that's our vlog! I want to give a special shout out to these awesome corgis who did the Crafting with Corgis segment by doing a pineapple jack-o'-lantern. Look at you guys, that's <laughs> so cool! Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! Look at that corgi giving a side eye. <laughs>